A bill at the State House would set new background check requirements for reserve police officers. Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Escal shows us why advocates say the measure is needed. Reserve police officers are often volunteers who serve on the force. Some of them perform many of the same duties as full-time law enforcement officers, but don't have all the same background check requirements. A bill here at the State House would change that. Reserve officers properly applied are a huge, a tremendous value added uh, to a police agency. Lawrence Police Chief Gary Woodruff says his department has more than 30 reserve officers. Many are either retired from their full-time law enforcement career or are looking to join the profession. Many special events our, our reserves will assist us with with uh, providing extra presence at, but really it's, it's, it's supplementing and backfilling for uh, for our full-time officers. Woodruff says his staff checks the employment and disciplinary records of all reserve officer applicants, even though that's not mandated by the state. State Senator Jack Sandlin wants to require all departments to do the same. I think the public has an expectation that there will be accountability, and this is an accountability mechanism. So far, Sandlin's bill has received unanimous support from the Senate and in two House committees. It now heads to the House floor. Somebody gets in trouble or maybe they're kind of on the edge of something and they resign from an agency, it stops them from simply going down the road. It raises the bar for, for, for every agency across the state to set that higher standard. Sandlin's bill would also require all cities and towns to pass an ordinance stating how many reserve police officers their departments could have. At the State House, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News.